Hello everyone. I did a few benchmarking runs on Cyberpunk 2077 to see if the AMD uh, memory timing uh, makes any difference. So yeah, I run I, I ran uh, three benchmarks with uh, default timing and three benchmarks with fast timing and uh, long story short i didn't see any significant difference in the results but i'm gonna show you how i how i ran the the timings so yeah as you can see i i have a power limit of five percent uh minus five percent uh until my my power supply arrives so i think it's gonna arrive next week uh, original uh, delivery time was 10 January 10 now it's January 4th so it's one week uh, closer but until then I'm limiting the the power of the GPU because I believe these new 7000 series cards have uh, some pretty serious spikes and even though I have the recommended power supply by AMD of 750 watts. It's something from Corsair. It trips, uh, especially when I'm trying to, to to stream. So yeah, there's that. We'll see if the new one uh, fixes the problem. But let's get into it. Uh, the way you, you run the, the benchmark, you just open the, uh, the game, Cyberpunk. <clears throat> now I am running with uh, really low presets in order to... I, I actually am running with the low preset and with uh, FSR off. Why? Because I wanted to see if there is an actual di difference. You know, the higher the frame rate, the bigger the, the difference. So these are the... I, I'm just uh, using the low preset and then just uh, coming here and turning off the... FSR, hit apply and to run benchmark you just click this one, press B and it's gonna start loading the benchmark and I'm actually curious uh, what frame rates we're, we're gonna get because uh, I'm also recording now and I don't have a capture card system, it's, everything is on the same PC but the results that I'm gonna show you are, are without uh, any other application opened uh, I, I try to, to to exit every single uh, application even from the tray everything so yeah right now I already can see that, that the FPS are are a lot lower when I'm recording uh, so yeah I am going to to look in a capture card system in order to get better uh, better frame rates. I mean, in order to also show you the, the, the benchmark and uh, give you the, the real frame rates, you know, without any recording or streaming involved. But yeah, if you're thinking about streaming, and yeah, you are going to have reduced, uh, reduced performance because the ga this game is also already very demanding and... Uh, the system also has to to do some some streaming or recording so yeah uh without recording the average fps is about 150 right without recording so recording just recording puts a a, a heavy toll <laughs> on the on the gpu or cpu or whatever is uh, recording i think i'm recording with the CPU, but I'm not sure. Anyway, this is how I'm running the benchmark uh, in in cyber, Cyberpunk. I'm just using the the in-game benchmark tool. Now let's go into the uh, Adrenaline software again. These are the the settings: max fan speed 100%. The power limit is reduced by 5% and the memory timings are on default. It doesn't make sense to go on fast timing and run it again. I'm just gonna show you the, the results that I I got uh, 
without recording. So let me move this here. Okay, as you can see, uh, this is uh, this is the I, I did three runs with default timing and fast timing. So the first three are uh, are the runs with default timings, average FPS one fifty four, uh, minimum uh, sixty, and uh, maximum of two fifty. So second run we have uh, some. The average FPS is basically the same, but we do have uh, better uh, minimum and maximum. And in the third run, we have basically the same FPS and about the same minimum and maximum FPS. Now, switching to fast timing, and uh, I did name these uh, these screenshots. They are, these are in-game screen screenshots. I don't know if you can see it, but on the top left, uh, I uh, I tried to to name every single uh, screenshot of the benchmark. I did not record because then I will get like 100 average FPS. Because yeah, I don't I don't have a capture card or another system to to capture the the performance. But maybe in the future. <clears throat> All right. So with FSRO. Uh, Fast timing, as you can see, there's basically no difference. There is literally, in my opinion, there is no difference. You have the same range of average FPS, minimum and maximum FPS between. Uh, so this is the first run, this is the second run, and this is the third run with fast timing. Like is about the same with with the default timing on on the memory so i'm gonna basically leave it on default because maybe the fast timing might cause it to <laughs> to give uh, some some poor performance in some instances now if i would have seen you know like uh, even a two three percent uh, better performance or a very high difference in uh, the minimum FPS because that's what really ma matters, not the maximum. I would switch it to to fast timing, but I don't like here in the first run with the fast timing. The minimum FPS is 63. Uh, here is 59. So only on the first run is some difference, and that might be because it's the first run. <laughs> I'm not sure, but on the other two runs, uh, they are virtually the same. So I hope uh, this this gives you some uh, some nice insight on how the the timing works on the on these boards. And uh, yeah, if you find this helpful, consider leaving a, a like, maybe comment and also consider subscribing. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.